Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel for another video. Uh, if you have not seen my previous video, so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video. Hello friends, uh, in our previous video, uh, we did implement uh, this eye icon to show and hide our password. Uh, in this video, we'll go ahead and implement to display orders that user purchase from our site. So before we do that, we'll go ahead and register to users to our application. So let's click on registered. I'll go type customer submit. Our user got registered here. Okay. So uh, you can see here we have 11 items in the card, but we did not add anything. So that means we have some bugs in the code. So this view coming from home, right? So let's, you see, when I click on home, we do see the 11 items in the cart. Let's go to cart. You see in the cart, it is still showing 11 items. So we have bugs in two place, okay? So what we have to do, we have to open a home controller here first. Uh, let us check here. So here you can see we are getting count here and displaying it by the HTTP context with session, right? And here I do see a bugs over here, right? It should be u.u, .u, right? And then also under the card controller, if you go there and check the count and the u is missing there also. So u.u. .u. All right, so I stop the project and sign in the application. So friends, now you can see we have a zero items in the cart. And now if I click on the cart and there is no items, right? So we had fixed the bugs now. So let's go ahead and home. Let's go ahead on the home page and add few items here. I added three items. Click on the cart. Click on order request. Let's add the phone number for the person who is going to receive the order. I'm adding a random phone number here. Okay, so we did add the address information for the delivery and click on submit order. Okay, so now we do see a Stripe page and then type the user email, right? Click on pay. Uh, now you can see our order got succeeded but now we want to see the order that we submitted right let's say this user right this customer one order like five times in our application right and then we want to see the list of the order that each customer did order using our website okay so to do that what we have to do we have to have a link where user can click on it right on that click it will call a function and that function will load the history of the order with this customer id and then will display on the view okay so let first have a link over here where user can click okay so i'll go ahead and open our shared view so click views as you see the shared folder click layout make it bigger so here i'll go ahead copy code and paste it here so here i add the another link right with the order history right and then when user click on that link it will call our order controller and then call the order history function to execute the uh, order history for this current user so now we'll go ahead and implement this order history under the order controller so we have our order controller over here uh, so let me minimize this i'll go ahead copy this paste it here okay change this name to history uh, so here i'll go ahead and remove all this okay and then change this to string and i'll keep is as a status okay so here what i'm going to do i'll go ahead type 
user id equal to user manager dot get user id which is user okay and then i'll also declare a list here okay and then this list type should be user order header okay i keep the name order list equal to new list user order header okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to check the status let's say if user routing a status from view we'll receive it here make it as nullable so it means it could be null or it could have a value okay so here i will check if a status not equal to null and a status not equal to all okay and then i'll have a bracket here and here i'll check if the user is admin or not okay which is admin okay all right here now i will do order list order list equal to under the db dot order headers dot where dot where you post to you dot order status equal equal status dot to list okay if not else so here in the else condition right i'll copy this again paste it here i'll do little change over here right uh here i will also have the user id okay i'll also add the condition to user id here you type and and put u dot user id dot user id equal equal user id uh so here what we did uh if the user is admin right so what it will do it will load all the orders in the order header table and store in order list okay uh if the user is not admin right so this is the regular user so what it will do it will uh get the all the orders with the order status right and then for this user so this would be the specific user order list and let's say if user status is null then we're going to have another else condition over here right uh and here i'll go ahead and copy whole thing okay and paste it here and if the user is admin so since no status is coming remove this line over here all right and then here also remove this so what it means if user is admin and no status has been assigned over here right uh, that means it to load all the order from order tables and then here uh, if user is not admin then we want to get the orders for the user for this okay so here after we all done we have to return the order list to our view okay so here you can type return and return this return this order list here you can see this order list right uh we are getting data from here and returning to our view so now we are going to create a view for this order history okay so here you see project is running just click on a stop right click on it click on add view click add type order history click on add here so i will go ahead and remove this and copy the code and paste it here to save our time okay all right so i have pasted the code over here so you can see this is the view for our order history so let me run this project i will show the view right and then explain the code so you remember that we registered a user here so let's log in to using his account so the account is customer1 at gmail.com okay and now you can see we have order history link in our navbar that we create here using this and now let me minimize this uh click on this order history icon 
okay now you do see a order that this user submitted and the status is pending okay so let's say this user is our regular customer right? he ordered 50 times right so he could see the status of his order he can see pending orders right he can see in process order since there is no orders with in process status shipped order status nothing is there completed order status nothing is there let's say cancel status is not there okay click on all so he only ordered for once that's why it is showing for one time uh, now what we have to do let's say the admin log into the system and admin want to view all the orders right so let's see how many orders we have in our database okay so if i open my database and i'll go open order header run it so i do see i have a six orders right and this one right here is for this order okay and you can see the price 29.98 here 29.98 right and these five orders was created by chat you see here the name right so what i'm going to do i'm gonna create a role and assign role to user okay but i'm gonna do use database but in our future video we will go ahead and implement controller to create you know uh, roles for user you know edit for user on all other things let's go ahead and open ASP.NET user roles okay and here we do not have any roles currently so i will go ahead click on edit okay give uh, some random id here okay and now we create admin let's do another random id here let's do customer okay so we did create two roles right so let me go ahead uh, so let me go ahead right click on it click on show 1000 so you can see this is the role name and this is the id so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this id here okay and then assign this id to one of the user from our esp net users table okay so let's first open this one esp net user roles so currently this is empty because we have been assigned so we need to put the user id and then the role id so once we put the user id and role id right so then this user will have this role id okay so let's go ahead get this role id copy and go there put it here and this is role id for admin right and let's get the copy for our yes users id here so here for this customer i'll for this jack at gmail i will have him as admin copying it go there put it here okay so now this user have admin role id okay so now for the other for the another one right there this one i'll have a customer role id okay i'll put this id over here and then copy this customer role id and then put it there okay so now we do know that jack has admin and then this person has a uh, customer role okay so let's close this if you do right click there and select you can see this is the two user having a two different role okay uh so friends let's go open our order header table again and you do see we have only six orders here right and this there is only two user orders so one is the admin and one is the customer okay so and you can see the um, you can see the order status here uh is pending cancel completed right so let us go back to our visual studio uh run our project and sign in using admin role I will use Jack here and he is admin. So I'll go click on order history. So you can see he sees all the orders from different user because he's an admin now, right? People keep order, right? They may have in process order, right? We can, they may have shipped order. This is the complete order. You can see one order status is complete, right? And they also can see the cancel order as well.
uh, right? So here you can see another uh, button, uh, which user can click on to see the details of this order, but we haven't implemented this function yet, but uh, in our uh, feature video, we'll go ahead and implement it, right? Uh, so let me uh, show you the view, okay? So here is the view and I change uh, this approved to canceled because it was approved there, but now I put it canceled here. So do change it if, it, if you see approved there, okay? So, and also change it here as well, okay? We use switch case to active the button, right? If they click on completed, so then it will highlight it on the completed tab and we'll have a active uh, icon and text should be white. So if I go down over here, uh, you do see a separate div over here and this is for order list and then the purchase, okay? And then here you do see another div from here to uh, all the bottom, right? But in between that we have two div, okay? So uh, this div is the list for this button right here, you can see, right? And then if you see my previous video, right, you should able to understand all this class, right? All this bootstrap class, what are they and how they work, right? And then also I have explained all this in our previous video, okay? So do type this, right? And then I have a table that I created here uh, to display the data using for each loop, right? And then we do have a, a header for our table and this is the body for our uh, table as well, okay? And then if there is no data, right, it will go ahead and display this line over here, okay? So friends, let me show you how we are sorting the order tables using the status, okay? So let me make it a small. Uh, here you can see we use cancel status to sort the order table, right? Let me go ahead and open order controller. I will go ahead and click debug on this line. So click on complete. So once I click on complete, right, I will see the status, you see, status is completed, right? So that means what it will do, it will load all the data from order headers table that status is completed, okay? So let me go ahead and click on continue. So currently we only have one orders with completed status, okay? So, uh, so friends, let me click on all here. So now you do see we have a status equal to all. So it will not, get into here uh, because it will only get into here if it is not all right so it will come into this else statement and we'll check if the user is admin or not since jack is admin so we'll go ahead and load all the uh, orders from this uh, order header table okay so let me click on continue so now you do see we have all the orders over here so friends here you can see uh, if we have uh let's say 200,000 order so it will go ahead and list it down 200,000 order so in our future video what we will implement we will not load all the data from our database when user click on all because it will slow down our system so we will only load maybe 20 orders right uh, from our database and then we will go ahead and implement paging and sorting using jquery uh, data table. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial. Please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.